I'm one of the luckiest people to have the Red Sea right next to me. It breaks my heart to even imagine a future without the corals, the marine life. Weather is changing around the world because of global warming. So the world is losing its corals. The unique thing about the Red Sea corals is that they are adapted to a very wide range of temperatures which is great for things like high temperature events. It's the perfect lab conditions with, with naturally higher temperatures yeah. to really understand what is going on everywhere in the world. Coral reefs shelter like 25% of marine life. So protecting corals is protecting marine life. Red Sea Global hired 30 environmental stewards from the local community to help in enhancing the environment. They're involved in rescuing turtles, doing bird survey and survey mangroves. The coral, it's more colorful, so I think that uh, start bringing different type of marine life and more schools because I think there is a lot of food now. We have a bunch of nurseries in the water. We have about 8,000 corals in them. Then we've got plans to actually start some coral gardening. With the right techniques, you can actually really increase the growth rates. We're about to receive a system that can reproduce the temperature cycle of the Red Sea the sun cycle and the moon cycle to get the corals spawning um, together at the same time in our tanks. We do fish surveys, we do coral surveys, and a big part of both of those surveys is the imagery that we take. This is a photogrammetry technique. We take thousands of pictures of that area so we can see how it's changed over time. It's the role of a scientist to just keep learning and trying to really understand what is going on in the water. And every day we add a little more piece of puzzle to the full image. I take immense pride as a Saudi woman uh, working on the front line as environmentalist. We are putting a lot of effort in protecting the environment. There's definitely a lot of hope and I think this region is kind of one example of leadership in terms of kind of making things better. I'm seeing a change, I'm seeing an effort, I'm seeing a step, and I feel like we just need to continue. So we just need to do more and more and more and more and more until we reach the point that we want to reach, and even better.